If you're looking for some ideas on what to cook while you're enjoying the game, Brenda with United Supermarkets joins us to share us what's cooking. Hey everyone, well welcome this week. I have a treat for you. I'm not the one cooking. I'm gonna do some grilling recipes. Well, really not me. I have with me Pitmaster Kirk Pittman, who's gonna teach you some techniques on grilling a whole chicken. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. Help me know how to cook a whole chicken on the grill. Okay, Brenda, first of all is what we did is we started off with a Tyson chicken. They weigh about four to five pounds each, and okay. then we cut them in half. Okay. So by cutting them in half first, that reduces the cooking time. Uh, makes sense. And it just kind of helps them a little bit more easy to handle. Okay. And all we did is we simply marinated them in some just Italian dressing. That's it, just That's Italian it. dressing. Yeah, super simple. Okay. So how I long did you marinate? I recommend anywhere from like uh, three or four hours total. Perfect. So perfect. Then from there, we're just going to put them in a large foil pan and put the four half chickens in the pan. Okay. And then put some butter in there. Okay. And then put them on the barbecue pit at 225 to 250 degrees for about uh, two and a half to three hours. Perfect. And that's it. That, that's They're going to cook that simple. What temperature are we looking to cook them to? The internal temperature, uh, we usually shoot for like at least 180 in the leg oh, okay. or in the thigh. To make okay. sure the ju and the juices will run clear whenever okay. you check that. I'm so glad to know that. On there, so. Okay. So we're going to get this going and then we're going to show you the good stuff at the end. We'll be right back with that. And just like that, we've got the chicken ready. Not really. It's been a little bit of time. How long did the chicken cook? We've had the chicken on for about two and a half hours total. Okay. And you've already pulled it off and you sliced it up really pretty. Thank you. It's, I'm very hungry, but yeah. we're not done. So you're taking the chicken and what are you going to do with it? Well, what we're doing is we're making a green chili chicken oh, breast. Oh, man. So we've got a green chili sauce here that's got tomatillos and hatched green chilies in there. Okay. And, and it was the just the jar? Yeah, we just used a Hernandez brand okay. uh, tomatillo from United and then like the little hatch green chilies. Awesome. So easy, simple. easy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And uh, then we got the chicken breast sliced up. Okay. And I'm just going to put transfer that into the Oh, you're going to put it in there? Yes, and then we're going to put some cheese on top of that. I can't. Put that on the, the cooker for about 10 minutes and melt that cheese. Okay. And then take the green chili chicken and place that in the turn-in box. Okay. And then remind me, what temperature did you cook this to? Uh, you try to cook chicken breast to at least uh, 165. Okay. And the chicken legs and chicken thighs, you know, like 180. To okay. Make, just to make sure. So. so you took the breasts off and you did put the meat back on, the dark meat back on for a little bit longer? Yeah, dark meat was done, but okay. it's just, we're not using the dark meat today. Okay. But it's also a great way to let this stay nice and um moist at, while letting the other meat finish cooking yes correct yes okay what a great thing all right let's so see you do your your magic and put it in the green chili sauce and so super simple a really really great idea whether you're tailgating or you're at home and you want something when the game is done or you're just hungry tonight because i promise you it's good right now at least it smells good i can't wait to try it guys thanks for joining us so excited to be here Thank you, Kirk, for your expertise. Yes. Remember Kirk Pittman, he's one of our pitmasters that works with us here at United. So grateful for the expertise. Enjoy.